Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon or Rising, this is your October forecast. If you would like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change or if you'd like one-on-one -on -one, uh, therapy, do use the link below. All of this month you are looking at things that are behind closed doors that are uh, below the surface under your own conscious, the subconscious, things that are hidden from plain view. These things will be cropping up during this month. That's what I'm focusing on. That is your highlight. Now we do have a lot of planets that are in retrograde right now. So there's going to be re in front of a lot of words for you this month. And these things are happening to go uh, and start something that wasn't finished. To have the opportunity that you didn't have to go over and learn lessons that you didn't learn before. The opportunity to advance yourself where you hadn't before. Um, that's what uh, retrogrades do and they create a bit of uh, chaos and a little bit of challenge and um, unfortunately what we pray for there's always got to be that hard work in the middle and that's exactly what's happening now I liken it to the um, hurricane Ian I think it's called where it uh, hit down sucked up all the water and dumped it somewhere else it's this um, emotional dumping everywhere just up and go and you'll find that in a few areas of your life because with these planets retrograde you will have a few that will be hit and so it's an emotionally overwhelming time it's a time where um, a lot's going to be going on now for you specifically everything that lies beneath the surface that others can't see so psychologically how you grew up what your foundations were what you learnt, um, and all of that is how you prepare yourself <clears throat> throughout your life this is the time where you're going to review that you're going to re-establish yourself you're going to re-establish boundaries you're going to reinvent yourself in a way that will bring you great success moving forward it is going to be a difficult time but this is the time to analyze and to be in retrospect and think hmm so for you in your uh, study career and finance we do have the eight of wands now this is getting information from um, your boss or your uh, peers uh, about something important that's coming through that must be done it must be done uh, and you'll be called up last minute to do it or called up last minute to come in and give it a hand this is also about if you're looking for a job hearing words through this but do understand there are going to be delays there are going to be miscommunication if you haven't heard from a job interview or from university or any kind of correspondence to do with finance study or career go through check your junk mail and resend things as well because things are getting lost this card is also looking at uh, moving forward and a focus on how we're going to be able to um, establish uh, better um, budgets in, in your life, uh, not just with finances and everything, but we're focusing on finances. So I direct you <clears throat> to how we're a bit going to be able to invest our money, make our wills, our super, uh, earn more money, our passive income, making our money work for us, and you'll find some of those solutions this month. This is also about word from the other in your life. So if you are you know, um, divorced or have children or matrimony, uh, uh, alimony and to pay for your children uh, you might be getting word about that this month also if this is about any kind of legalities you will get word this month and there will be some momentum when it comes to your home and your residence we do have some happiness after the storm now for some of you I want to say that there's been some issues with the property itself um, and it's been going back and forth or there has been some delays getting what you need done to the house or out to the house you're going to find that throughout this month it will resolve you will be able to get this done it's just taking a little bit of time due to um, the weather, as I say, the planetary weather. This is also flourishing in the family unit. Uh, the family is, is, has um, come in through a burdening time, a sticky time, a time that has been really heavy. And we're starting to see the uh, hard work pay off. We're starting to see the rainbows again, and we're starting to see that the end of the tunnel there, we're going to be able to uh, have some relief and a brush of fresh air throughout this month when it comes to your health it looks like we're passionate about a new start now something you've been trialing you're going to find oh my god that is exactly what i need and i'm feeling so much better now this is about strength this is about um something new and being passionate about this 
Now this might be slightly unorthodox for some of you. This might be something that's come from, an, from Western versus Eastern or um, something that you have to go online for. Um, so if this is a psychological thing, because all my, this is about the 12th house for you, this is about endings, this is uh, natural conclusions, this is about your ego and your self-destructive tendencies and habits and fears and phobias that have you um, paralyzed with fear or have you stuck in a cycle. And, you know, if, even if you're 60 years old and you've always had this view and been pessimistic or if you're in your 20s and things have always been that way, this is the month to change that. So you'll find that throughout this month, you're going to have that energy. You're going to have that renewed, um, fresh energy moving forward because this is new. Now, as far as physical, because this is the physical sense, this is, is about, there's one... So something that started, we've got a second one and then we've got a third one. So whoever that is for you, if it's in the course of steroid injections or pain blockers or um, any kind of cycle that we have to do, uh, you know, one, two, three sessions for, the third session, we're done. Okay, just that's just for you. Um, this is also about, um, you're going to need to outlay some money as well on something, but this is all wonderful because it's actually a really strong card um, that you're going to have some great um, results this month with your health. The first house is your teeth, your face, uh, everything to do with that area. No, it is head, face, upper lip, upper jaw, cerebrum and um, brain. Uh, this is also a place of pride as well, so just remember Throughout this month, we're dealing with the 12th house, and that's secrets behind closed doors. This is hidden skills you might find that in a, in a um, challenge or in a chaotic situation or in a turbulent time, that suddenly you find you've got a skill that you never knew that you had, or that someone is recognizing a skill that they had, had not mentioned before because it's out of sight, out of mind whatever way that is for you. When it comes to love, we have the full card. It's a major arcana card, and it's a fresh new journey. So those of you that are single, this is about going out with no expectations or meeting someone with absolutely no expectations. It, you know, it, it just happens. But this is a major moment for you. So this is someone that's karmic. This is someone that you can be um, energetic, be yourself, be free. And it could be through this relationship that you start to question you know, any faults that you may have, the ego that talks too much or anything that's getting in your way. It could be through this relationship that you understand yourself more. But this is a month for you to go and have therapy. This is a month for you to listen to my free um, YouTube uh, hypnotherapy. It's all underneath the playlist, A Guide of Meditations. Um, so yeah, those of you that are single, um, you might find that you're setting off with an adventure with your partner this month. Have you been saving up to go on a holiday? Are you starting a course together? Are you starting something new together? What is this new adventure that you're going on with? So drawing virtue messages from the angels, we're going to need to see a specialist about our accounts and also, like I said, if we're looking at our retirement, our wills, um, our uh, passive income, uh, employment owed or or insurance uh, or money from employer owed uh, and you know getting that money back we're seeing a specialist about that but that's also in terms of our health um, be very careful for the sweet deal look at it read it twice you might sign up for something or pay money for something that's not quite what it seems Rochelle says that if you listen to the advice that's given to you and um and go the direct route that you'll get there even faster for that success that it is that you're asking for. Fiona says, listen, you are important. You are seen. You are heard. Um, you might feel like you're hidden or ignored or uh, isolated at times, but you're not. Archangel Michael's the head of the deck. He's helping you here on these major changes and major moments throughout this month. And he's saying, I'm there with you, giving you the courage and the strength to be able to uh, finish this month in success. Now, Crystal is saying, say, have faith and have hope because things that you can't see are in play. And just over that hill, that's the results, that's the outcome that you want. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.